Unless you've been living in a cave for the last two years, I bet you've heard about the recent boom in AI technology, and maybe you've even heard of ChatGPT and Midjourney. But are you confused about why it's so important and why it's such a big deal? Likewise, recently you may have noticed there's a bunch of electric scooters and electric bicycles and electric skateboards just buzzing around your city. Today we're going to dive into what's driving the electric revolution and the explosion of AI technology and explain why this is such a significant moment in history and why our culture is being dramatically transformed. Welcome and enjoy the ride. Have you ever wondered what the future will look like in the next 5, 10, 20 years? Would you like to participate in the cutting edge of technology and help shape our future world and culture? If so, you've come to the right place. I'm here at my alma mater, the University of Illinois. Today I'm riding my electric bike across the campus and I'm flying my DJI drone to give you a visual tour of my university that's famous for engineering, science, and technology. The world is changing like the seasons it's unstoppable and undeniable, yet unlike the seasons it will never go back again. Let's take a closer look at the PEV revolution. What does PEV stand for? Personal Electric Vehicle. How about we start with one wheel? Have you ever heard of an EUC? Well, you better learn, because in the near future, everyone is going to be buzzing around on these things. It stands for Electric Unicycle. And in the past two years, people have done increasingly astonishing feats on these things. From getting huge air on the motocross track, to flying down the highway at 60 miles per hour, these electric unicycles have proven to be one of the most efficient forms of transportation known to man. And given the fact that you can pack them into the trunk of your car or take them into the office, I believe everyone is going to be riding around on these in the next five years. Is one wheel not enough for you? How about these electric longboards and skateboards? This guy got his electric longboard up to 60 miles per hour on the highway. It seems like everyone's going 60 these days. That electric unicycle got up to 60, the electric longboard's getting up to 60, and this electric bike that I'm riding hits 60 miles per hour. You can check out some of my other videos where I'm racing cars and destroying most of the competition. This is really a revolution led by the youth. I would say the 12 to 24 year old age group is the main demographic, but there are kids as young as 8, 9, 10, and 11 years old getting on these bikes and doing wheelies and doing stunts. It's crazy. And everyone's super thrilled about it too. Get off the trail! There are so many families on this trail! You are not supposed to be on here with motors! Get off the trail! Get, in a motor. Get off the trail! But ultimately, it's somewhat of a cultural revolution. There's actually an entire culture being formed around PEVs as we speak. And it's spreading across the nation. From New York City, to Houston, to Las Vegas, to Southern California. The electric revolution is taking America by storm. And to lift the wheel up as high as you can. So how can I describe the PEV culture? In three words, I would say efficiency, speed, and freedom. Efficiency because these are the most efficient vehicles known to man. You can ride for 20, 30, 40, 50 or more miles on a single charge for a few cents of electricity to charge up your battery. I would say speed because it is truly faster to ride a PEV through the city than it is to drive a car or any other form of transportation. And the performance on some of these PEVs is insane. My electric bike will go from zero to 30 in around two to three seconds and beat most cars in a race. And freedom is self-explanatory. 
Having an electric vehicle gives you freedom to travel anywhere, anytime for a very low cost and you don't need to have a license or special permission, especially for the teenagers and youth who do not have another form of transportation. PEVs represent true freedom. Sadly, today in America, efficiency, speed, and freedom are all illegal, which is why the Karen police state tyranny will soon crack down on all PEVs. So enjoy the wild west of the electric revolution while you can. Speaking of unstoppable, mind-blowing technological revolutions of our time, let's take a look at some of the awesome applications and use cases for artificial intelligence. With text-to-image art generation, anyone can make their imagination and creativity come to life. Because of how popular tools like Midjourney and Dolly are, there are now 34 million AI images generated each day. Here are some AI images I created using Midjourney. Welcome to the Electric Revolution. Subscribe. Welcome to the explosion of AI technology. The chances of Dogecoin going to Mars is low, but never zero. As you can see, there's also text to speech, and you can animate people's faces to make it look like they're saying anything you want them to say. This technology is developing so quickly that we are literally months away from being able to type a simple text prompt and getting a full movie as an output or rendering a full video game environment and 3D objects with just a text input. What happens when engineers and architects start using this technology to design buildings and cars and all sorts of things? For example, I could show the AI a BMW, a Porsche, a Ferrari, and a Lamborghini, and I could ask it to give me a new car design that combines all of the best design features and aspects of those cars into one new car. Are you starting to see how AI technology is radically changing the world and we haven't even covered ChatGPT yet? ChatGPT can write essays for you, can read long papers and summarize the points, it can be your personal tutor for learning a new subject or your personal trainer for your everyday schedule. Personally, I use ChatGPT for coding. It is a great tool if you do not know computer programming. Just ask it, write me HTML code for a website. Write me a Python script to solve this equation and graph it. It's also great for generating ideas. Basically, the power of AI is that it can fill in the skill gaps that humans have by crowdsourcing all of the human knowledge and information and making it available to everyone. We've only just begun to scratch the surface of AI applications and technologies, but it's safe to say this revolution will transform almost every industry. Listen to this music generated with the help of AI. I'm not sure who said this, but I love this quote. I often think about the future and where we are headed with all of this technology. I wonder if we are going the right direction or if we are going to end up in a place we do not want to be. Surely this technology makes our lives easier and better, and it's so enticing to have that much power at the tip of our fingers. Sometimes I get on my e-bike and I just ride to a faraway place. I try to escape the technology and escape the city where I live and go to a place I've never been before. Because things are changing so quickly and life is just flying past. Is it possible that we are building for ourselves a prison of technology 
from which there will be no escape. Is it already too late? Are we in too deep? Is there no longer a yearning in the heart of humanity to seek and to know the one who created all of this? Whose eyes are like fire and whose voice is like the rushing waters before whom we all must one day stand.